Green tea. Green tea. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is going to be one of the most important videos I've done. So stick around and I'd love to know your comments afterwards. If other people hate you, that's obviously, you know, that's part of life, right? No one's gonna like everyone. Sometimes, you know, people probably think I'm annoying and uh, I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing and my YouTube channel sucks. Hey, that's life. Not everyone can like you and what you do. However, the big challenge lies when you hate yourself. Okay? And the theme that always comes up for me is the challenge people have with this concept of being enough. They give me three words like, I'm not enough. I'm not enough. And the more I thought about this is, I've, I've honestly thought about it throughout the day today. And I'm thinking that when we have thoughts like that, we need to dissect them. We need to try to understand them and, and put some meaning behind them and challenge those thoughts. Because to say you're not enough, that has some very deep meaning to it. Like just those words, I'm not enough, that means like you are shit, that means you are scum. But let's, let's look at it from, from a different angle, okay? Enough. What does enough even mean? Enough. When do people say enough? You know? Uh, but when you're getting, I don't know, getting your wine poured somewhere or have, have a glass, a, a waiter or a server pour you a drink and like, okay, that's enough. You know, that's enough. That's, that's enough water. I'll be okay with that much water. Okay, that's enough. I don't want to drink too much alcohol or else I'll be hungover today or the next day. Uh, when, when, you're, when you're frustrated or angry, it's like, okay, I've had enough. That's it. I've hit my limit. That is all. And what happens when people, whether it be their alcohol tolerance or their hunger, you know, I've had enough, I'm full, or whether it be their threshold for, for something bad happening and they get angry and they just can't take it, all of that's subjective. All of that depends on the individual. Your concept of being enough should not be compared to other people's enough. Meaning, if you say you're not enough, are you playing the comparison game? So let's get that out of the way. Because you can't compare to other people because their concept of enough and their threshold for, for pain and, and their motivation for success is completely different from yours. Completely. The difficulty about this whole video is, I just said, it's completely subjective, so I don't know what your enough is. I don't. But I want to ask, I want you to ask yourself a question. If you were enough, what would that look like? Ask yourself that. If you, if you, tomorrow you could have anything you wanted and your life would be perfect, would you still wake up and say, I'm not enough? If you had your dream car, your dream job, your perfect family, would that be enough at that point? Because I have a feeling that even if you got all you wanted, you'd still have that underlying feeling if I'm not enough. And when we want to dig really deep into that, what you'll have to do is challenge your own belief system. Is say, okay, what does enough mean for me? If I actually graduate with this degree and I get an awesome job and I'm making a decent impact in the world, is that going to be enough? No, of course it's not going to be enough because I'm going to need to be the CEO of this thing to make a big difference. Okay, but no, that's not even going to be enough because, you know, to make a big difference, I need to, I need to join this company and do this. But no, 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 that wouldn't even be enough because, you know, there's all this, this policy and this and that and this and that. I need to start my own business and I need to change the world that way. Yes, then I'll be enough. Okay, okay, but then I want to start a family. Okay, so if I start a family, I'll have a kid. Okay, then I'll be enough. I'll have a wife and my child. No, that's not going to be enough because, you know, one child, I want at least three. Okay, when I have three children and a wife, 
that's going to be enough. And, I, and I'll live in Toronto. No, I don't want to live in Toronto. That's not good enough. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move to California. I want to live in LA. Okay, that'll be enough. Okay, okay. Do you see where this is going? No matter what you do, it will never be enough. So what can we do to challenge that? I want to hit you with a perspective right now. And this is the way I think about it. The way you're living right now, the way you're existing right now, is enough in itself. By chance, it's a miracle that we're all here. It's amazing that we're all here. Seven billion humans on this planet. Wow. I think it's enough that you are who you are. That you made it this far in the evolutionary spectrum. I think it's enough that you are part of a family. That is a miracle. You are enough that you're part of a family. I think it's enough that, that you're making an impact somehow in society. Whether that be commenting on YouTube to say the very least. Whether you have a job and, and you're helping your, your coworkers in some way. Whether you're a garbage man or woman and you're collecting garbage on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I think you are enough without doing a damn thing. You are enough by existing alone. Everything else you do, it's just a plus, man. It's just some extra goodies. But by existing and being here and having those basics, you have the foundation, and that foundation is enough to have. That's enough. I guess the last thing would be um, for some homework. If you, if you all have some free time and want to do a bit of homework, especially if this thought um, continues to, to bother you and, and just like a, a splinter just it won't go away and it's kind of in your head all the time. Um, first thing, write down some unique things about you. Now I'm not saying uh, I like to play basketball. A lot of like a lot of people like to play basketball. No, write down is there something unique about your shot? If you like to paint, is there something unique about your painting style? Things like that. You may have to look a little deeper, but I know there is gold in there. The second thing, write down what you've achieved so far. And I may even see a comment, I think I asked for this a while back, like years ago, and people are like, I haven't achieved anything. That's a bunch of horse shit. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not, not to sound, you know, not to be angry there, but there's no way you haven't achieved anything. I don't mean you need gold ribbons on your wall, trophies from, from the Olympics. No, I'm talking about did you pass a test? Did you run 2K? Was that your goal? Like, what have you achieved? This can be, did you get through the whole, like, season four of House of Cards? Or season five, whatever it is? I don't know, something. I know there's a lot in there as far as achievements. And the third thing, pick up a hobby. Learn something new. Suck at something for a while and then get better at it. That feels really good. And then you, you put some purpose and meaning into, into something. And maybe that's what's missing sometimes is you don't feel you're good enough because maybe you haven't stuck with something long enough to really see results. Because I know if you're learning an instrument or learning a, a new skill, you know, you, whoa, and then you plateau hard. And then it's really tough to get into that second stage. I completely know that because I've been playing guitar for way too long and I'm not that good. So that would be a very interesting thing to write down. Write down and, and figure something out, figure out a hobby, something that you want to learn. It can be a language, an instrument, a new sport, anything. And there's your homework. I just want to say you are good enough. It is a miracle that you are here. When that thought comes in your head, I'd like you to challenge that. Take care, guys. Here's what would be so cool if everyone just comments, right? And all you say in the comment is, I am enough.
type that out, it will feel so good because you're telling the truth. Okay? You are enough. And that's enough.